Sometimes it feels like I'm breathing 
his clay. I'm molded in his image.
sing and Faith testified. I don't know if you guys saw Ellie or not, but when she was singing that first song when she got to the third verse yeah. and started thanking the thanking Jesus for what he had done, Ellie's head went up like this. Yeah. I didn't touch her mom. I just glanced over and I saw her hands go up. Faith started crying. I thought, man, that is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mama's got the touch already. But there's something in there one of these days. She's going to be raising that hand for eight reasons. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank God for that. Yeah. Thank God. But I said this song come to me. Who's testifying? I'll get it out, maybe. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. <laughs> for being. Yes, sir. So good to me. Yeah. When I was alone. That's right. You took me in. Your sweet family. You gave me new hope. Said that I.
got a little bit of direction this morning. I appreciate what God's doing, don't you? Yeah, yeah.
today. And this lady, her past was written down. And why was it written down for? Because one or two things. Number one, it could very easily be that God wanted to show you her mistakes. So God could use her as a keep out sign. Can I tell you this? Jesus, but you do. 
and says, give me a drink. And said, sir, you've got nothing to draw with. And the well is so deep. I want to tell you today, you might be sitting here and feel like, boy, you are a chess game and God only knows how to play checkers. You might be sitting here this morning and feel like you're the deepest well that God's ever come across. Can I give you this today? Paul was the murderer of murderers. If he can save Paul, he can save you. Can I let you know something? Robert Gibson is a real person. And I love Rob with all my heart. He's a friend. But boy, can I let you know something? If God can save a man, a man that took a person limb from limb and stuffed him down a toilet and called him to preach, I'm telling you, God can save you. Can you say amen? Boy, listen to me. If God, and I know someone like this, if God can take someone that was a devout Oh, man. 
Jesus looks at her. And this is what he says. Go get your husband. And she says, I have no husband. And Jesus said, you well said you have no husband, but here's the problem. You've had five. Amen. And the one you have now, he's not even young. Well, you talk about busting. I'll never forget this. I was getting ready to marry a couple. Chris, every time I pray over them, Rob, I didn't have a good feeling in my soul. Hey, can I just give some advice to our preachers? Tommy, you can help me right here. Can I give some advice to our preachers? If you got a bad feeling in your soul about marrying a couple, either don't do it or counsel them longer. Amen. Yeah. Is that right? We went to the courthouse. I was going to pay for the marriage certificate. Went to the courthouse. And the judge came out and looked at him, Scott. And he said, is that Brandon? I said, yeah. He said, you know, good well you can't get married. And I felt a fist drive through the heart. God whispered my soul and said, this is what I was telling you about. Oh, why couldn't he get married? He was already married. <laughs> and I looked at it soon to me, and I said, I don't know if you agree with this or not, but this is what they call a problem. <laughs>
two marriage, three marriage, four, four marriage, five marriage. And the only thing that remained, Chase, was that bless God water pot. What do you think the miracle is, Caitlin? Getting folks to come to an altar or getting folks to change? Anybody there? What do you think the miracle is, Larry? Get folks to come to church every now and then? Why, well, if you don't come to church, I'm going to leave you. Well, bless God, if you want somebody's going to make you feel better about you, let's get yourself here. Well, if you don't come to church with me, you of age, I'm going to kick you out of the house. You want a mama that's still going to wash your undies, you best get your blessed self here. What's the miracle? Getting folks to church or getting them to Jesus? How many of y'all would admit there's a lot of times you've been to church and never got any better? But you can't say that about Jesus. Every time you've been to Jesus, yeah. right. something happened. Yeah. Right. Here's the end. I wish I had more to take them out, though. You got YouTube tonight at 6 30, though. Yeah. Well, stop by the gas station, gonna fill that up. You got YouTube at 6 30. You do too. <laughs> Jesus believes. Can I preach to you? Every day, every time the gospel goes out, Sarah, there's a Jesus that believes that somebody will come to him. Well, what's, what's the point of teaching Sunday school if the people you teach it ain't going to listen? What's the point of singing? And I'm not talking about this, this is worship. But if your main goal is to help somebody, what's the goal of help? What's the goal of trying? If they don't, if they don't even believe it's going to help nobody. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Chase, I just struggle believing in Jesus. Can I give you an amen right here? Jesus does not struggle believing in you. Yeah. Right. Ain't that weird? She believes on Jesus. And guess what she did? The lady that was ashamed now becomes a worshiper. Remember, Rachel, she ran into town, Jess, and she said, come meet a man, come meet a man. That told me everything I ever did. Right. But you know what the miracle was, Tori Lynn? When she believed on Jesus, <coughs> she dropped right. her water pot. Right. And you don't know what I believe, Emma, because those things were made out of clay back then. Yeah. And she had them through five marriages. Let's just say, Shayla, let's just say five marriages. Let's say they went three years peace. That clay would have gotten old by then. That water would have made it decay on its own. As soon as you drop it, what's it going to do? Break. Guess what you can't do as soon as it breaks? You can't put it back together. So when you drop it, make sure you're ready to drop it. And after she met Jesus, I, know, I can about check it. But you can ask Rob if there's something I'm bad for with singing. If I know the song, I'll beat it to you. Rob's up here singing, thank you, Lord. And I was back there just, why was Trials, they seem so hard to bear. And Rob's just looking at me. I know the blessed song. <laughs> Nina was up here singing that third verse of Come to This Fountain. And I wanted so bad for her to say, But then she met the Master. But then she met the Master. Sad, not a sad. And she got happy right before she said it. And it hit me. Well, my God, I probably got happy too. I want to say this, and I'm done. If I move these offering plates around, 
I moved the assortment here. How many of you know we got one person in the church that's going to fix it? I ain't talking about Caitlin. I ain't talking about no, I don't. We got one person. And he already knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mess up this arrangement. If I would have left that on the floor, he came up as soon as I called for singers. And he picked it up, put it here, and he turned it. And made sure it was good. Can I tell you something about that water pot? There are people that are going to try to pick up the pieces of your water pot and chase you down with it. Yeah. But guess what? When that water pot dropped, Shayla, not only could that lady not pick it back up, nobody else could either. They could pick up a piece and say, hey, don't you remember who you were? But they couldn't put that back together. <coughs> hey, I need to do something before we're done today. <clears throat> I'm preaching about forgiveness. I'm preaching about a new life. They might be a couple folks in the room that feel like I'm preaching some Holy Ghost hogwash, some supernatural nonsense. How many of you know Jesus can do that? Hey, I, I want to do something real quick. Put, put your hands back up. I know some of y'all hate this stuff. Put your hands back up if you believe that. Threes, don't move. Nobody move. Every age from Nina to Avery Golden, Sarah Ramey's little boy sitting back there, Chris and Amber's right there, around you, these are people that have dropped their water pots, and they know it works. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. I'd love to ask you today, you got a song you need to I'd love to ask you today, it's not so much about do you want to be for your kids, but do you want your kids to carry the same water pot you're carrying? God bless you. Let's